sick yet, but it's just the beginning symptoms of a cold. Like my throat feels scratchy, a little bit thick, mucusy. I took like six of these wellness pills, so hopefully that works. And now I'm burping up this like interesting garlic mixture. We're off to the facial now. I've never actually been to this place. It was recommended by my friend Charlotte, who's like a skincare junkie. Um, let's see what it's called. Ah, uh, here we go. The things we do. That is what it's called. Okay. If I leave now, I'll be 10 minutes early. It's like sad how much of a kick I get on being on time. I'm lost. Everything looks the same. I'm getting ready for my facial. This room is so freaking cute. This whole place is so freaking cute. I feel like this place is my friend Danny personified into like a, a spa. God, that was literally the best facial of my freaking life. If you guys ever happen to go, the things we do, please get Jetsy. She is so firm but delicate with her hands, and she did like two types of extractions. She did like a micro, micro derma extraction, and then she did like a manual extraction. It's six o'clock, and I feel horrendous. My skin looks great though. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to this event. I. I literally can't. It would actually be awful if I went to this event because I would just be getting everybody sick. I'm doing everybody a public service by staying in. just finished our shoot. Uh, there's the team. Say hi. Hi. All right, as you can see, we're very excited that we finished. <laughs> I'm back home. My throat still doesn't feel great. I know it doesn't sound like there's anything wrong, but literally just talking hurts so much. I try to figure out if this is a sore throat or if I have strep throat. Big fucking difference. I think just looking online is making me feel very hopeless about the situation, so I'm gonna just go to the hospital now and get some answers. Three hours later and the verdict is I have the common cold. But the doctor essentially just said to get rest. So I'm gonna make myself a, a chicken soup. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys, but Ben is away on a business trip. He's in Scottsdale, Arizona for Hyundai. So um, it's just you and me, baby. And Chippo, of course. Here is my chicken soup. Not a very good shot, but it took me like an hour and a half to make. Hmm. It is helping my throat, I think. And I think now that I know that it's not anything crazy, it does give me a peace of mind. Hmm. I am currently packing for my trip to Paris and that sentence sounds so crazy to me because I've actually never been to Paris before. I feel like it's one of the most like visited cities ever. And normally when I pack, I always forget at least like one or two critical items and it's because like I just like pack like lack lackadaisically. I'm not really like detailed when I pack so a lot of stuff goes under the crevice. So this time I have written a foolproof master packing list. So since we're in the bathroom I thought that we would start with toiletries. So this is my toiletries bag. I don't even know how long I've had this bag. I think maybe like I want to say like five years if I like can eyeball it. 
but this has been with me on so many trips. I mean, it's survived through a lot of leaky stuff, but since the inside is like lined with this plastic thing, it doesn't really matter. I'll take all this stuff out and then let's go over it. For my toiletries, I like to take this with me on the plane. Like I put this in my carry-on. So everything needs to be travel size. So here I have Vanilla Co's Clean It Zero. It's been a minute since I've used this, but this is a tried and true. And then of course we have Fresh's Soy Face Cleanser. This is like a really milky but powerful cleanser. It like removes everything off. Next up we have a toner. This is Fresh's Rose Floral Toner. This is like the big version to my small one. So I'm gonna take this just to keep things streamlined and of course I have to pack my essence and here I have a nighttime serum. This is by Zhorwasu. The consistency reminds me of something like like a snail would discharge. And then for my moisturizer, I have Darfon Hydra Skin Light. It's super lightweight, almost like a sorbet, and it does a really good job just like sitting underneath my makeup. I'm also gonna pack a night cream. This one is by La Mer, and it's so small. Look how small the pot is. <laughs> so cute. This a little goes a long way. And for sunscreen, I have this one by Supergoop. This one has a slight tint to it, which I don't mind. I was just a little surprised. Now we're packing some toothpaste. This is by Marvis. So I'm packing Oribe's conditioner and I'm not even gonna bother packing the shampoo because I don't really care what shampoo I use, but conditioner I could always use more of, so in it goes. Here's another hair product. This is Oribe's Super Fine Hairspray. This all came as a travel set, so I'm just using up everything that was in there. I'm packing two hair ties and a shower cap. And I'm just gonna put it in like this because I don't have like a nice case for it. And I'm gonna pack my razor. This one is by Billy, and I love this razor head because it gets such a close shave. There's also like charcoal on here, which I think is really cool. We'll see if I even use this because it's gonna be cold. Will I show my legs? IDK. I don't have a travel size version of a dry shampoo, so I'm just gonna pack this full size whey dry shampoo in my luggage. All right, so toiletries are all done. I'm just gonna leave that there so I can pack it in the morning. So now we're gonna tackle makeup. Here is my makeup bag. This has also seen better days. Uh, this one is by Pony. She, this came in like a PR package and it's been like my favorite one to use because it's like the perfect size to fit everything. If it goes beyond this makeup bag, I know that I'm packing way too much makeup. So let's start. First thing that goes in is my beauty blender. This is the beauty blender in its case. That way it can stay relatively clean. I've got foundation. I'm gonna use this one by Chanel. This is really, really hydrating. And I mean, I'm gonna be in Paris, so time to whip out some Chanel. And then for concealer, I'm using this one by ColourPop. This one has hyaluronic acid in it. So it's supposed to be really hydrating and creamy. I wanna test this out when I go out in Paris and see how well it holds up. Here is my powder. This one is from Pat McGrath. I'm gonna pop it in. For my brows, I have these ones by Maybelline. This is their Brow Ultra Slim, and I have it in these two colors. Now for eyeshadow palettes, I wanna take this one by Urban Decay. This one is just like filled with neutrals. It's just really easy to build up a look using this palette. I mean, if I was a normal person, I would just pack this one, but because I have trouble letting go, I'm gonna pack this one by Pat McGrath because this one has like a fun like purple. So in case I wanna do like something more bold, I have the option to. Yeah, they're both going in. Or will it fit? I'm gonna make it fit. For eyeliner, I'm using this one by ColourPop. This is in their Creme Gel Liner. I've been liking to do more of like a smoky cat eye. For mascara, I'm using this one by Lancome. This one is in their Hypnos Doll Lashes. This one's really great for tiny baby lashes, like mine. I'm gonna pack these two lashes. They're both from the Creme Shop. I'm gonna pack these ones that are used because I know that I don't have to cut them and I use them once, so they're ready to go. And these ones are new. This one is Not Your Baby Lashes. I pre-cut these as well so that way I don't have to pack scissors. My Lash Glue by Velour. For contour, I'm using this one by Fenty Beauty. It's In The Sun, this one is my favorite. And then for cheeks, I'm gonna go in with this one, Fresh and Peachy. Unfortunately, this is sold out, but if there's any dupes, I will let you guys know. And for highlighter, I'm using this one by Becca. I know it looks like pink on the pan, but when you like swatch it, it's more of like a peachy highlight. Okay, and now in this pouch, I'm gonna put my tweezers and I'm gonna put in a couple of lip colors. Realistically, I'm gonna use this one. This one is L'Oreal's I Achieve. And then I also want like a nice nude. So I'm gonna put in this one by Dominique Cosmetics. This one is by Dior. This one is like a, a lip balm pretty much. 
I don't know, maybe maybe in this trip I'll want to wear like a darker lip, so we'll pack this as well. And I also want to pack this one. This one's by Smashbox. This one is out loud. Whoopsies. Okay, let's just zip that up. And now we're going to get to brushes. Brushes are really important. Without them, you don't have the tools to properly apply your makeup. So, of course, going to pack my powder brush. Pop it in right over here. So now I'm going to pack at least three of these eyeshadow brushes. Now I have three blending brushes. And this has been my favorite brush to like nose contour with. I've got a blush brush and the last one is a highlighting brush. And we're good. Wow, I really didn't forget anything. Fabulous. And it zips right up. So now it is time to pack some clothes. And the weather in Paris will be a high of 53 degrees with a low of 32. And it'll be raining for most of it. Just got these two things from uh, Uniqlo. This is their heat tech. It will do a really good job insulating me. I think I just might crop this because it's so long. If I tuck it in, there's all. it's already like met by this legging. There's just like not enough room to just tuck it all in. Actually, maybe there is room. I'm just really not used to this. And I think I'm gonna pack these jeans from Redone. They're, they're like a nice light wash that will match with a lot of things. One coat that I'll be packing is this one. And this is obviously faux fur, of course. I don't know, I think I'll feel really good like stomping around the streets in Paris like this. This one will be my Tuesday free time outfit. All right, so this is my evening dinner time look. This is pretty freaking festive, this red top. I am gonna also pack these like skin tight, almost like pleather looking jeans. And, and of course wearing these like snakeskin type-esque boots. I feel like my head is like playing tricks on me because I'm like, oh my gosh, this jacket doesn't perfectly match with this top. But honestly, it doesn't really matter because when I go to dinner, I'm gonna be taking the coat off and this will be the look. Up next is another sightseeing daytime activity outfit. Got a, just like a beige turtleneck. And I absolutely love the collar on this. It just looks like very regal and like super chic. And I'm wearing the same pants from the previous outfit. And then I'm gonna wear this raincoat with this fabulous tartan print on it. And if the rain falls down on me, it will just cascade down, just water off a duck's back. Um, I'll either wear these boots or these boots. And maybe I'll wear this hat. I think this is a pretty solid sightseeing outfit. Like imagine me with like the Eiffel Tower and then the Louvre. I don't know, this is just like kind of like a foolproof outfit because normally when I travel, I have like these expectations of how I'm gonna feel. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're gonna wear all these like brave, bold outfits. And then when I'm actually there, I'm like, wait, I wish I just wore something really comfortable. So this is that outfit that I am keeping in mind for myself. I'm just gonna pack this gray turtleneck and then same pants, same furry jacket, and I just added a beret. Super simple, very easy. I'm gonna call this look my make-believe outfit because this is not gonna be practical at all when I go to Paris, but I'm gonna pack it anyway, just in case I'm like roaming around and the hotel room looks really nice. Like how Parisian is this top? I'm like getting super fatigued. I know we're just making outfits. It's not rocket science, I'm not saving the world. This is very like, this is a very first world problem, but I'm just like, at this point, I don't even really care what I'm gonna wear anymore. Like, this is just gonna be an outfit that I wear from like day to night. I'm wearing a black turtleneck, and then I think I'm gonna pack this moto because it's so lightweight. It's like very fashion. And I'm wearing these uh, green tartan pants, and again, I'll probably wear a little black boot. So we've got like five solid outfits. The rest, I'm just gonna wing out in Paris, like. What you just saw there is the Thera gun. This has been a really great addition in our household. It really has. Cheeky isn't so sure about it. No. It basically like massages and releases all the tension in your muscles at like a rapid speed and it feels amazing. And, like, it really does though. After using that, you feel so light and it's just such a good invention. Mm -hmm. like, they smack, they must be killing it right now.